Octavio Del Rio passed. He was 89. He lived for many, many years in the Haight-Ashbury. He'd been in the service uh, like right around World War II. And, uh, his younger brother was like in the Korean War. He was up over the wake. And he had lived for, off and on with some friends of mine in the Haight. My friend uh, John Kovacs, who used to have House of Good and the Tracks Bar. And John passed, now Octavio's passed. It's a whole generation of people who are going bye-bye. And the family was up, but they just really didn't know quite what to do or make of Octavio's work. A lot of it was very erotic. I mean, some, some things had maybe as many as 10 penises and eight or nine orifices that they were inserted in. He went from heterosexual to gay to uh, fantasy in terms of his sexuality, but he also did brilliant things with, but his color work I thought was really brilliant. He had hundreds of pieces. He's, he never was shown in a gallery. No one knows what it's worth. I think it's worth a lot. He's just a brilliant artist. And this piece struck me as, although very innocent, it still shows the sex of the lion in it, and the lion's on a tight wire, and all the other animals are noticing the king of the jungle can do anything. So that's uh, the Del Rio story for the moment.